Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Bersin and let's start talking about what is going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being right to sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless I explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without costing you anything extra, but all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so they can jump to the point of your preference. And Marvel's Mutation and Merry Musicians is now translated to French. So now you can play Melodion, Mutation and Marvel Musician, the original game by Wendy Yu, a member of RPG Latin, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene, has now been translated to French by Angela Kidam. And I apologize for my French because I speak a little bit of French but not that well. And if you are a francophone, you can now appreciate this Marvel's game fully. So, if you are not yet aware of what is MM and MM, in it you play as a traveler musician going to different places to explore ruins or help communities. For example, it's not focused on battle and combat. The translated version is available in full PDF, a plain text version and an EPUB version, so you have plenty of options for accessibility. Since we are still on Zen Month, let's talk about Lumen Rider Core by Babel Gum Sam, a member of RPG C. RPG C is the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene. More on the game. And if the art and aesthetic didn't inform you already, that is a Tokusatsu inspired game. And what it means is that it's a tactical light, flavor heavy game where you play a masked superhero and their eclectic group of friends going against a evil organization. It screams Tokusatsu in all of the ideas and it's even in the official description. It is based on the Lumen Engine by Spencer Campbell that we already had here on an interview with plenty of action from wacky special attacks to absurdly stylish weapons. There are plenty of character options and even a Kaijin generator with the system. It is everything that a Tokusatsu fan could expect. Okay? Also released with Zinmanf is the Push SRD system reference document by Lucas Capaco, also from RPG Latam, also a Brazilian. And what is Push? It is a genre, genre agnostic engine for creating lightweight story-driven tabletop RPGs. And it was specifically designed for cooperative action packet adventures. There is no stats and a single mechanic powers the whole kind of system and moving everything and inviting the PCs to take the greater risk and use their imagination to try and make the next move. It is really an SRD for creating games that invite a freer experience where the concern for the rule is not the main focus. So it's very interesting and it puts a lot of questions on people creating the games, what they want from the game itself. Yet another project release for Zin Month, the Rook Zini Month Bundle, two projects by the Rook studio being each funded on the same month, two projects by the same studio and the first of them is Sherwood and as the name suggests it is a game of continuing struggle against unjust rulers, predatory aristocrats and parasitic royals, officials and all of that and if the name doesn't evocate enough the cover I, the cover art is really more than enough that you want to evocate the idea of Robin Hood. The second one is Dragon Ma Cave. And Dragon Ma Cave is a fantasy funnel. For anyone not familiar with the concept of what is a fantasy funnel, it is an adventure usually used uh, on the first levels of OSR inspired games, like plenty of games already in level zero or, or so on to funnel characters and see which characters can arrive at the end of it and be characters for a longer term adventure. So 
uh, it is adventures with a uh, high rate of mortality, but more on Rigo Mall Cave idea in itself. In it, characters go after Okana, a brass dragon that was responsible for helping or guarding a valley. It is an adventure for up to five players and it seems to present a pretty interesting scenario because although it is a funnel, it presents an interesting scenario of why you want to help this brass dragon which would be very powerful and why you can be useful in this way. Well, on gems, you still have close to one week to submit to the Random Adventure Jam. It was created by Chris Bissett from Luther Room with some random generator of the Random Adventure Jam. So we still have one week to try and create one Random Adventure Jam for any system that you want from the system that allow it. And just use the Random Adventure Generator created, submitted, and you can submit to the jam. Okay, it's just going out, so we have one week. On posts and threads, I bring a post and a thread on the same subject uh, that comes around again and again from time to time. First is a well constructed post by Chris B. Said from Luther Room, and it is talking about the one cent per word and how this is a rate bullshit. It goes into detail on earnings and that what they made and their releases and freelance work and present some takeaways from it with very good evidences why one cent per word is just bullshit. You can read it and analyze the values by yourself, but I really like how Chris presents it and they are a very good idea on how the market can work because they are a great creator and they had made some very good moves on the scene. The second one is by BJ Games, a creator from RPG scene as well, and brings to light how the one cent per word, it means this is a very different thing for a creator from the global south, so it takes a very interesting view uh, on the whole debacle on that why I believe it's important to keep in mind uh, for these discussions and how different views can contribute in different ways for a good discussion. And that's why I wanted to bring both of them to the same episode and for the same point of view and why it is important to keep both of them on in light and why both of them informs us how to be better on this scene. Okay, for today I really believe that's it. If you like the video, like them video, share, subscribe. You know how internet works. If you like the video, you can pay me a coffee on coffee. You can let me know how you like this series on the comments. And I hope that you subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!